Hello, everyone. In this video, we will look at the multiple choice questions in chapter 14 of the Java book. Now, you can access the resource of um, my books from www.pearson.com slash Liang. So if you do this, and you're going to get into this website. So here's the uh, website. This is the one here for the uh, introduction to Java programming, comprehensive. So this is the, uh, the book here. So I'm gonna click on this. All right, so here's the companion website. So this is the uh, student self-test questions. And let's go to chapter 14. It's right here, chapter 14. All right, let's look at the first question. Why is Java FX preferred? A, Java FX is much simpler to learn and use for new Java programmers. So that is true. And before Java FX, we have Java AWT and we have Swing. And comparing with uh, AWT and Swing, Java FX is easier to learn, it's more structured and have the, uh, um, the easy way to write uh, a graphic user interface. <laughs> B, JavaFX provides a multi-touch support for touch enabled devices such as tables and tablets and smartphones, yes. JavaFX has a built-in 3D animation support and a video and audio playback. That is also true. JavaFX incorporates modern GUI technologies to enable you to develop rich internet applications. That is true. So that's all. <laughs> well, we will come back after we uh, finish uh, a bunch of questions and we're gonna check them all. <clears throat> Next question, every Java FX main class implements extends. Now it should extends because this is the uh, class, it's not interface. So you extends a class, this is the abstract class application. It's not an interface, so you don't use implements. Uh, overrides, um, so that is, um, and so I think it's also is, this is true for this um, overrides, this start and stage uh, method. Which of the following statements are true? A, a primary stage is automatically created when a JavaFX main class is launched. That is true. You can have multiple stages displayed in a JavaFX program. That is true. A stage is displayed by invoking the show method on the stage, that is true. A scene is placed in the stage using the add scene method. No, you can use, you have to use a set scene. So that is, um, this is the uh, correct uh, choices. Um, so let's look at the next one here. What is the output of the foreign Java FX program? So here, when you um, launch this program here, um, so what is first thing is um, 
is the man. You 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 go to the man. So this is the. Uh, so the first thing is the uh, this the main the launch application. So this is displayed here. Run launch application here. <clears throat> launch application, and the next is the the uh, constructor to construct the object for this uh, JavaFX program. Here is uh, the test. This is the class. So that's here is test constructor is invoked, and then finally, and you're going to invoke the start method. So start method is invoked. So the correct answer is E. All right, so let's look at the next question here. <laughs> Which of the following statements are true? As seen, is a note no uh, look at the diagram um, uh, the figure 14.3 in the book so you can see that uh, a c is is not a note a shape is note a stage is note no that's tr not true a control is a note a pen is a note so B, D, E are correct choices here, are true. Next, which of the foreign statements are true? A note can be placed in a pen. So that is true here. Uh, a note can be placed in C note. Uh, a pen can be placed in a control note. A ship can be placed in a control note. So that's A. Next one here. Which of the foreign statements are correct? So here is uh, A. Uh, so this, you create a scene. And so with this uh, control here, that's fine. And so the, uh, this no, you cannot put uh, this uh, ship in in this scene, and you cannot put the image in the scene, and you can put paint the same. So those two are correct choices. To add a circle object into a pen, no, you cannot use this. Uh, there's no add method directly in a pen, so you have to get children. So this is the one uh, for a single. And you can add multiple ones, but in this case, just a, a one single one. So that's fine at all. So both are fine at all, at all. Next, which of the foreign statements are true? Every subclass of node has a no arc constructor. So that is true. Circle is a subclass of node. That is true. Button is a subclass of node. That's true. Paint is a subclass of node. That's true. And C is a subclass of node. That's not true. All right, so let's look at the next one is uh, which of the following uh, bonding properties? Um, no, the bonding properties here, you have to have this two and, and C and D. So it's integer property, double property. Which of the following can be used as a source for bonding properties? Um, so you have to use C and D. Suppose a Java FX class has a bonding property named weight of the type double property. By convention, which of the following methods are defined in the class? 
so this is the uh, um, the uh, <clears throat> get wet, set wet, and so this is the uh, wet property, and this is the uh, in the double property. So this is there. Um, so here is yeah is double property. So this is a D is not right. And this is the wet, no, this cannot be right. So this is the spelling is not right. So this three. What is the output of the foreign code? So here we have this D1 is integer property. So created using simple integer property. D2 is simple integer property here. D2 is bound to uh, D1. So now if you, um, so here D1 dot bind with, with D2. So this is the uh, uh, D1 now is uh, <clears throat> um, so D1 is, is now the value is displayed and here, and now you change this uh, uh, D2 and to set this value to three. So you're gonna see what is uh, uh, D1. Um, D2. So here for this one, because it's bound together and the D2 is two. So this should be displayed as two. D1 is two and D2 is also two. Now the next one here is you're gonna display D1 is now becoming three and D2 is three because the D1 is bumped with D2. If you change D2 and you also and change in D1. So that should be um, A here. The next one here, it's you have this D1, D2 integer property objects. And now we have the uh, bi-directional bonding. So that if you change D1, you're also gonna change D2. So here uh, D1 is, it's gonna be two, two. And now you're gonna set this three for D1. So let's see what is, uh, so here is uh, uh, D1 is two and uh, D2 is two. And now D1 is, here is three and D2 is three. So this is here. It's a bi-directional bond to each other. All right, uh, which of the following statements correctly sets the field color of SOCO to black? And this one here, set field, the color is black. So the constant black. And so this is the uh, spelling is, this is not a constant. It's how constant uh, should be all in uppercase. And you can also use set style. <clears throat> so this is the uh, field. So this is the one here. And so this, this is not, you have to use Java F. So here, fear is fine. And so this should be correct one, A and C. All right, next, which of the foreign statements correctly rotates the button 45 degrees counterclockwise? So this one here, um, Rotate 45. No, this is you have to use a radius, uh, not uh, the uh, the angle. So here uh, B is right, and this one here. Um, so um, I think it's no set rotate mass to radius, um, but that's the. Uh, this is going to be uh, not counterclockwise, it's going to be uh, clockwise. So we need to do counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, this is the one. 
But if you look at this, um, this is the same as uh, counterclockwise. So this is also a C and D and uh, correct choices. All right, so let's try it and see if we get all this correct. So I'm gonna try it now. Okay, so look, everything is fine now. So we are all fine now. All right, um, that is all for this part. And we will resume to look at the remaining multiple choice questions in chapter 14 of the Java book.